So here I have two videos of me. This is me actually getting some loquats from my loquat tree. Um, at first glance, they may look like pretty much the same video, but as I walk around, notice that the video on the left is significantly more shaky. The video on the left is actually the default. Uh, I mean, it's the raw footage. And the video on the right, I actually didn't use a video editor for this, or at least not a traditional one, not a big program. I actually just used FFmpeg. Now, I did not know this until, I don't know, the past day or so, but there is actually an FFmpeg package, or I guess library, I should say. It's called vid.stab, and it will stabilize videos. All you have to do is give it some arguments on the command line, and it will run and stabilize videos. Now, this is nice for me because for the longest time, I have been making shaky videos, and I've been annoyed by it, but now there's an easy way for me to fix it without doing it manually. Now here's the module I just mentioned, vidstab. All you have to do, and the great thing about this is I can totally automate it. I don't have to worry about, you know, I don't even have to go into a program and click on stuff. All you have to do is write a little script that runs two commands. Uh, first you have one that goes through it and gets all the, sh you know, detects all the shakiness. And then you can just run another command to actually use that data to reconfigure the original video, something like this. So that's all I did. I haven't actually played around with the options to this that much. Um, but in this video, I wanna talk about some of the other things I do with FFmpeg because a lot of people will ask me how I do video editing and stuff, um, but uh, I really don't use an editor. I just use FFmpeg to do most things. Now, one thing I do in nearly every video, if you notice really closely, you'll notice that my picture down here is actually off sync. By default, when I'm recording, this is how it looks, the raw data looks when I record a video. It's actually, the, the video is actually a little off because this thing down here is actually just a window directly, it's an MPV instance directly from my webcam. Um, and so it's gonna be slightly delayed. So let me show you what it looks like when it's not delayed. Let me actually get it back to normal. So here's what it looks like when it's in sync. Now, you know, I'm not uh, a little behind the audio in my, my video down here. Uh, how we get it in sync is actually an FFmpeg script. It's called a little script that I call I have called uh, Fix Audio. And all it does, if you look at what, what this does, I'll explain it. Basically, you take an input file and you just say, okay, let's offset the audio or the, the video by just a fraction of a second. Since our video is gonna be behind, we wanna cancel out that delay by just delaying it just by a little bit. Now, none of the other stuff is, is gonna be perceptible perceptible, but it just gets my face in sync, okay? Um, so that's just, it's just a simple command that I run pretty much every time I do a screencast. Um, I don't have to think about it. Now, of course, if you asked me all the specifics, I always get confused when there are, are commands with map and stuff like that in FFmpeg. But the great thing about it is even if FFmpeg is a very big world, you can easily put things in scripts so you can automate stuff all the time. Um, additionally, one other thing I have the script do is that when I record, I record in a way, um, I usually record audio in FLAC, so it's lossless. And I forget what I actually record my video in, but uh, it is something that is not very good for uploading. Um, Google, if I upload to YouTube, it's gonna be a really big size and stuff like that. And it's also, my internet here is terrible, so I like having a small file size. So I actually changed the video codec and the audio codec so they're be better for internet use, okay? Now, I like doing this in a separate script. You might say, why don't I just record in that? Well, it's because recording, uh, if I were to record in uh, the this natively, a lot of times it's more intensive on my CPU. I don't use a capture card, I just live without it. Uh, so uh, this is actually what I run pretty much on all my scripts when I wanna upload them. So that's an FFmpeg thing. And I might integrate as well stabilization to my other videos. This is for my screencasts. I don't usually need stabilization in that, but when I'm walking around with my camera, it's nice to have that. Um, additionally, one other thing that you actually saw an example of is at the very beginning where I had those two videos of myself walking around, that was actually created in FFmpeg. I did not use a video editor for that whatsoever. Um, all I did is this command here. What you can do is I had two files. I had the original loquat file, which is, I guess, on the right, and then the stabilized one, which I created with that FFmpeg uh, command sort of around here. Um, and then I can just take them as inputs and put them through the S, uh, HS stack, or H stack, I should, horizontal stack. 
um, filter. So that will allow them, it allow you to put them in one video so you can watch them at the same time. So that's all I did uh, for that. Uh, and in addition, let's say I want to combine two, uh, two videos. So let's say, let's look at all the videos I have in my uh, home directory. Now this is something I do very common if I'm recording if I'm recording a screencast and I make an error or I want to, I have a different take that I want to include or something like that, um, I might want to split tracks up. I might want to put them together. One thing I do very commonly is, so this thing here is called with audio. Uh, so I'm going to open a file. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, so we're going to say with audio. And another file that I want is, I think this screencast uh, right here. So screencast. Um, that one, okay? So I'm gonna output both of those to a file. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna com combine these, okay? So FFmpeg can actually take a certain input that looks something like this. You can say, okay, here's a list of files, and you can just combine them with the FFmpeg concat command. So I can say FFmpeg concat, take that input file. I'm gonna say copy all the codecs, and then we're, we're gonna have, uh, you know, we'll just put it in output.mp4. So if I run that, it's gonna take a minute. Actually, not that, since I'm copying codecs, it's not gonna take too long. Uh, am I gonna wait for, okay, great, already over. So now we can look at output. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this for a second. And this is actually gonna be the combination of that video I, I put up a second ago, and then a minute later, it's gonna go into, that's what I was just recording. That was before I synced my, uh, my uh, talking up, okay? So that's actually how, how I do video editing. I just use FFmpeg. As you can see, it's very quick to use once you know the commands. And if you don't know the commands, like in the case of uh, you know that script I had a second ago, fix audio, I never can remember some of it. It's easy to put in a script. So I recommend looking into to FFmpeg um, because, I, I mean, as I just sort of told you, I'm constantly finding useful stuff in it, useful filters to do. And ideally, I'd like to even make very complex, I, I don't want to say complex, but a little more complicated videos with, uh, you know, I know there are other people who use FFmpeg. I think, uh, I want to say Chris Acapinti does introductions and stuff like that. He has FFmpeg automatically put them in. I'm pretty sure he does that. Um, but anyway, check it out. I'm just telling you that FFmpeg is out there. It's very useful. I use it all the time. I, it's literally my video editor. Anyway, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time.